Hi guys, I'm going to do a point class now, just like point warm up basically um, for a small space. Um, and I have brand new point shoes on, so I'm really in it with you. <laughs> and we're going to break our shoes in together. Um, we'll start in parallel and we're going to go crease one, two, three, I'll show my face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Press. Let's do seven, down, eight. Slowly up, pressing up. One, two, down, three, four, up with five, six, down, seven, and eight. And left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, flat, eight. Up, two, down, three, four, five, six, seven, open, turned out. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down, eight, up and down, up and down, and then same to the left, okay? What I'm thinking of when I am rolling through these feet is not just the pressure through the demi point. I want you to, you want to show demi and point through the demi every time as you descend, okay? Right there on that right foot, I'm going down through my demi point. But also, I'm checking in with my hip placement and not letting myself be here. I'm really pulled up as I'm prancing so that the, the leg that's down or flat is feeling really long from the stomach all the way down the thigh, okay? You can face the bar, I'm gonna face you. Good. Um, point shoe 101, but I'll keep repeating it because everyone needs to be reminded, is to go through that, to be, err on the big toe and second toe, not to be anywhere on the pinky, okay? So we stay really in the midline when I'm turned in. I never go out anywhere in that direction. I stay almost with my, with my feet touching my ankle's touching down here as I roll up and down. And then that same alignment is held once you turn it out, that I'm pushing to that side of my point shoe, not back here, okay? That's where we wanna be. Um, and the reasons for that are because the big toe joint is the biggest of all of the metatarsals and it can hold the most weight. And as soon as you start to get out on the pinky, it's like this, um, slippery slope of spraining your ankle, yeah? That's just like the bad place to be. So we really want to air like that. Not completely on one toe. The full uh, box is on the ground, but we are have more of our weight towards that big toe. We're going to do from fifth position. Tan du pige, cross the foot and down. Tan du and fifth. Tendu, lower second. Press up, and two, and three, and four. Quick up, plie, tendu, and fifth. Back, plie, cross that working foot, over and down. 
Tom Duke, and fifth, side and down. Heels forward, up, and then quick up, plie, Tom Duke, and fifth. myself a little bit too much and fell over but it's good when you go into second maybe the second time around to let go of that inside arm at the bar and test your balance and try to rise up to releve without holding on I think the thing that we all have to deal with when we get all the way up to point is that the weight changes so where I am in releve on demi is different from where I am when I'm all the way over. And for some reason, it's really easy to just get more back. So when I go all the way up, I have to lift up and have a lot, lot, lot of space in my hips here so that I'm not pressing forward. It's like I have to scoop up under there in my lower abdominals and lift up high, 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 like ice cream scoop and lift up those abdominals to keep myself forward. It's like a little bubble of air at the top of each leg that I'm trying not to squash, okay? That's just another way to think of it. So, when we do releves in second in point work, make sure that you don't get up into this really wide second where when you're up on point, it's like this huge thing, yeah? I say, 
I like to say it's not very ladylike <laughs> to be so far apart with your legs. So I like to take the size of one of my feet, and that's a good, that's as wide as I would ever want to go. That's my échappé width. It's a little bit wider than my shoulders, but it's not so wide that it's this unmanageable thing. When we work in second in point shoes, you really want to make sure you keep your legs underneath you so that you can go all the way over the box. Okay. We're going to do a degage on point. So the preparation is five, six, and fifth. Plie, susu. Front and front. Front, side, back. Same, back. Back, side, front. Now we'll just do lots of little fifth positions. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, plie. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, hold. Back and back, back, side, front, front and front, front, side, back, back, three, four, five, six, plie with the inside leg, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. Two degages, front, side, back, two degages, back, side, front. Take that inside leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, plie, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. concepts to talk about. So every time you close fifth, the leg doesn't just come in. It's like your standing leg is made of glass and you want to bring that working foot in with the most care. Okay? So to, in order to do that, I like to think as soon as my leg is coming in that I'm being lifted, lifted, lifted up and I really feel the stretch, not just like through my head, it's through this part of my hip that that gets long. I don't have any sitting there or collapsing, yeah? But this is really flat. This back part of my turnout muscles is working and my inner thigh is rotating forward. And I close and it gets a little longer and longer every time. Same with these fifth positions coming forward and back. Every time I bring it to fifth, I don't just go like that. I grow taller, 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 so this stretching happens, yeah, so that we should be two inches taller by the end of the combination. Okay, good. And there's a, a certain amount of balance that we're holding in our upper body as we're doing everything. So we're lifting up and out of our shoes. There's not just going up and sinking into all of our joints. I lift up out of my ankle. I'm lifting up out of my knee. I'm lifting up out of my hips. And I have space in between every vertebrae in my spine, okay? It's a great thing to think about. We're gonna do from fifth position on the first side. Tondu first, releve. Tondu fifth and first and let's do First and fifth. Tondu plie. 
Anytime we're doing degage in our point shoes or anything in our point shoes, you want to make sure that you don't hear any sound on the ground at all. I got reminded because I just made a big noise. Don't let the foot clunk down fast. Because we're doing this lifting every time we close, just like in that combination, every time I close, I'm growing taller and taller on that supporting side. So it's not, okay, it's really, really quiet and really, really lifted, okay? We're going to do a slow échappé. I'll face you guys. Right foot front. It's going to be échappé, plié, and up, and up, no change, and change, échappé, plié, relevé, relevé, no change, échappé. Échappé again, plié onto the right foot. Relevé, relevé. And hold, find a balance and back convey. Pas de bray and repeat everything from the other side. Échappé, relevé, relevé, close front, and change, échappé. Relevé, relevé, close front, and change, échappé. To the left, three relevés. And hold, nice pas de bray, and finish. Two and three, su su, and 
and side, and two, and three. Susu, passe, and over, passe, to the back, round, susu, round, susu, plie with the arm, two, three, susu, plie side, two, three, close front, passe, to the back, passe, and over. Every time I move my working leg, I have the equal turnout with my supporting side. So on those passes, it's not just pick up the knee. It's present everything forward more and everything forward and then you keep it when you close, okay? We're working this kind of plie because there's not much ground or leg room to be had. And so we're finding those deep muscles that we'll need for a big soda shot later by tracking that knee right over so that this has space and my stomach is working and my inner thigh is working as it's coming forward, okay? So that kind of feeling. If you could put your thumb on your tummy and you're like your middle finger on your top of your legs, you should feel everything kind of being active and square. Okay, let's do the first side. Balance as long as you can or care to. Um, good. Other side. We're staying on that big toe every time we releve on that standing foot. I'm not going out here on my pinky toe. I'm staying forward on that front metatarsal. Every time I went around, plie, my elbow, my hand is elongate and I'm going down. And then I'm up in susu and I lift the top of that wrist. Down and up. Same when I'm in the passe and down. Passe and down. Don't let them get too high. They stay long and out. But there is this ripply beautifulness that you can have in a slow way with your arms that makes it look really pretty. We're gonna go little, little frappe, little petit bama. Five, six, plie, susu. And back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front. Double plie, 
double plie, out double row, double row, coupe, front and back, front and back, one, two, three, one, two, three, up, up plie, up, up plie, relevé, double, double coupe. We're on play for a long time right now, so don't just sit in it, yeah? Lift up and out of your shoe and try to grow as tall as possible so you can take some pressure off of that foot. But it's good because we're building strength, okay? So when you feel that urge or pain to be like, oh, fight through it and push strong and up and out of it. I'm feeling it too. You, you have to lift up to get out of the point to get off, okay? So for that double fondue, I have to lift my whole body to break back off the toes and then come down. So you have to anticipate that you're coming off the point shoe. Same in the pirouette sometimes, okay? Try that on the other side. Adagio one point. Okay. Five, six, plie, susu. And one, plie, releve, susu, passe. Keep your chest high, but we'll go like this. Releve, susu, passe. Plie, releve, susu, plie, passe. Plie, passe, su, su. So that's a fast one. Double pay to the back. Plie, relevé. Double pay on the side. Plie, relevé. Double pay to the front. Plie, relevé. And passe, su, su. And su, su. It's a quick one. One slow and quick. The urge that you're going to feel that I have to fight myself is not to get like this to lift your leg up. That this stays back, and I'm lifting with my sternum, not my ribs. So this is in, and this is broad and lifting. And underneath my shoulder blades is kind of where I find the strength to releve. And from back here, not the top of the hip or the shoulders. Okay, so we keep everything underneath and easy, even when it's not. If your feet are hurting as much as mine are, front side back is enough. Okay? Um, good guys. Another thing I'll add is that to get the leg up higher, that forward position that we all want to want to kind of be in to get our leg up is 
not going to help. You think it will, but the more I kind of stay back here, instead of going towards this, I lifted this whole big leg. If I stay just a little bit cambre when I go front, that's helpful. Side is just about being as upright as possible and as full turnout as possible, okay? So don't go towards the leg. Try to make space for it. Reminder that when we're on point, we have to cross even more with our leg because I'm not just with my weight on my dummy, I'm all the way over with my weight on my toes. So my center is even more over when I'm all the way on top of the point shoe. So arabesque is even further wrapped around, which is even a greater reason when you're doing your warm up before you put on your point shoes that that tendu. It has to at least cross when you're on flat. Because then what's going to happen when you're all the way on point? It's going to be out here. Okay? And that we counteract the crossing of the leg by opening that standing side as well. You know, this is coming around. Okay. We're going to do a little bit out in the center now. We're going to do relevés all over again, but now not holding onto the bar. So we're going to start in first position, making sure that we are as lifted as possible and that this is kicked on and that this is kicked on, yeah? Rock solid. So I'm going to go plié, relevé, straight down, straight up, and hold, and hold, roll down. Plié, relevé, straight down, straight up, hold, hold, roll down. On do second. Plie, relevé, straight down, straight up. Hold your balance, roll down straight. Plie, relevé, down and up. Hold, hold, and roll down, and we'll finish. That's super hard, but you can even just put your fingertips on your stomach while you do it. And if that stomach is kicked on, you should be able to find a good balance somewhere, yeah? So you can't, there's no way you can find it if this is like relaxed and jelly, yeah? It's like pulled at its most taut, our whole spine, and space in between every vertebrae, and that's what kicks on our stomach. Okay, let's do it one more time. That's my left foot. Not happy being back in the point shoe.
call it a day. Um, I forgot to mention, if you don't have a space where you feel like it's very safe to be in point shoes, um, you can do it on a yoga mat. So wherever you are, hardwood floor, or even in the kitchen on the tile, or in the bathroom, lay down your yoga mat, and you can do your releves there, yeah? We're not doing any fast um, tondus on flat here, so something like that would be totally sufficient way to do this. Um, even the floor I'm on right now is really quite slippery, so I didn't do anything crazy wild. Um, I just want to say to everybody, way to go for keep pushing through, keep, keep on pushing on, whatever, through this crazy time. Um, it's not easy for anybody, but I think that what's lovely is that we have this distraction of, of dance, and, which is kind of a therapeutic movement, and just keep on moving and keep on doing the things that you love when you can. Um, in a way, I was thinking, no one's outside having any more fun going out and doing anything for the first time in our lives as ballet dancers. Everyone's kind of bunkered down and, and at home, and, and there's no FOMO happening. Like, everyone's just kind of hibernating, and it's a great time to, like, put in some extra work and not feel like, oh, I want to go out and be with my friends or something. Like, this is a moment where we can really kind of, like, get a little more disciplined and a little more focused on some, some basics. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I'm always open to feedback of things that you guys want to keep working on. Um, it's hard because I don't get to see you. So um, if you guys send me a, a message on Instagram or even write me on YouTube, I'd love to hear things that you want me to put in videos for you that would be helpful for you. So um, all my best to all of you and keep on working hard, guys.